From city council meetings to crime to new businesses in town, your local journalists report on those stories and everything else in between. And now a group of storytellers is bringing you the everyday moments that don't make headlines. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Kelly Volk shows you why a day in the life of Freeman is anything but ordinary. It looks like your typical morning meeting in a newsroom. The team gathered together, cameras ready to go, and stories waiting to be told. But you're not looking at an entire newspaper staff. Instead, the room is mainly made up of students from Freeman High School and SDSU. In at 12:15, Freeman Courier publisher Jeremy Waltner is addressing the group before sending them out to capture a day in the life of Freeman. Just to be able to say to them, go, go out and do this, and then turn them loose, um, it seems so simple, uh, but so special. The concept is fairly simple. Document an ordinary day in the southeastern Kelloland community. And we're just covering everything that goes on in a small town. SDSU senior Taylor Moline and several others stopped at Freeman High School right away in the morning to interview FFA students and snap some pictures of students working. The students spread out all across the community. I know a lot of people here, but there's just a lot of people that I don't know. And like having to approach someone, asking what their name is, taking pictures of them is a lot different than just walking around your town, just living in your town. The project is giving SDSU instructor Frank Robertson's students a taste of reporting in the field. The classroom is a great foundation, but being able to apply those lessons learned in the classroom in a real world environment makes all the difference. It's not the first time students have set out to give you a snapshot of daily life in Freeman. In fact, a similar project happened 25 years ago. One of the people leading the charge back then, former Freeman Courier publisher and Jeremy's dad, Tim Waltner. 25 years ago, he partnered with SDSU professor Frank Clock to send students out into the community. And we visited, and I said, Are you interested in partnering with me? And he said, sounds like a great idea. And can you guess who two of those students were at the time? Jeremy and Frank Robertson. We were shooting everything on rolls of film, and we had, a, as a class, as a group, we had X number of rolls of film that we each had a certain number of rolls of film, so we had to ration it throughout the day. You know, I, I don't remember it as, as well as probably some of the college-age students because I was a 17-year-old boy who was thinking about basketball and girls and <laughs> not necessarily appreciating it for what it was at the time. But of course, that changed over time. Today, he's happy to be partnering with SDSU once again and excited to see what the students come up with. We don't know how many images are going to end up in this publication. Um, we don't know if it's going to be 40 pages. We don't know if it's going to be 80 pages. Um, but the best of the best will be published, and I can't wait to see it. The project will also feature other components, including video and social media. But the objective remains the same more than two decades later. It's such a simple concept. Go into a small town and tell the story of that day in a really engaging way. But you don't hear about this. I don't hear about this project being done in other places, a project like this. And yet it's so, and here we are, we're doing it. Um, twice. Twice. Two projects, 25 years apart, and countless memories. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Kelly Volk. Jeremy Waltner says that they hope to publish a day in the life of Freeman by the end of May. In the meantime, you can learn more about the project on the Day in the Life of website or on the Facebook page. We've included links to both under this story at kelloland.com.